This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Play. And we're off. How about that signature open? What do you use to describe that logo? Exploding vagina. Oh, okay. I've also heard cat's anus recently. Mm. Don't know. Either, either one would work. Let's, uh, let's track it. We're out of here. Screw you. Tonight, I'm going to kick Horace's ass. Oh! Talk about hoof and mouth. She loves it. I'm real close, Vampiro. Snap I told you I was going to take you to hell, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. You don't have what it takes to meet me, boy. It was a swerve by Tank Abbott and Rick Steiner. Could that be the Goldberg Monster Truck? He just tossed the Tank ball Abbott. on top of the hood. On the hood. You've got my stolen property, and I'm fixing to step into this ring and pull it out of your ass. You're going to get a dose of Anderson and Flair. The psycho from hell putting the boots to double A. And Nash is here, and he's going to stop Jeff Jarrett. Rick Flair drops down. That's a sad picture right there, guys. Now compare what we... Oh my goodness, here comes the hearse. Is this... uh? Is that for Ric Flair? I, apparently so. If, if I remember correctly, we were all concerned he had a heart attack. Because you see how he kind of fell down there? Yeah, he did a fake heart attack angle on TV. What I was going to say is you compare the open to this show mm-hmm. with some of the opens we've seen in more recent weeks where it sort of gives you the backstory. After mm-hmm. I watched this sort of recap, hell, I'm more confused than when it started. <laughs> One thing's for sure. We still had a load of talent. And we still had a load of not so good talent. Let's, uh, let's track this. Oh God. Vince Russo, Jeff Jarrett, Miss Elizabeth and David Flair just piled out a limo. Russo has the world title. And of course we missed it, but he's and got, that's the, right. uh, he's got uh, Rick's watch around his, uh, his necklace. Right. And at the same time, he's got the big gold belt draped over his shoulder. Mm-hmm. You know, we're three weeks away from the great American bash pay-per-view. And, uh, yeah. I mean, listen, that opening video, I understand one of the great things people always bragged about. Look at this contraption, this circular cage. We're going to see in a little bit. I understand one of the, th- the things that people praised Vince Russo about is everybody on the card had a storyline and, and everybody right. had purpose and meaning and value. And he made the underneath guys matter. It wasn't just about the, the main event. And I get that. And Lord, I appreciate it. I but, believe in it. But really. when you have a, a show open like that, do we have to recap and catch you up on every single storyline going on in the entire promotion? Or should no. we just say, here's our lead story. Right. I, mean, I, I Hogan flair sting. That's all you need. Well, but my point is they're all in different angles. Like, let me right. focus on one, right? Like what's the headline. And then as we go through the show, catch me up on some other things. I'm for that, but. When we're trying to fit it all into 60 seconds at the top of the show, it feels a little, I don't know, schizophrenic. I, I'm thinking that, that that was, and I, and I, I shouldn't say, well, what's hadn't stopped me before, but you know, we do a lot of shitting on Craig leathers on this show, deservedly. So, and it just, something makes me think that that, that was his idea that he threw out there and we all go, Oh, well, that's great. So. But no, you're right. In hindsight, just one angle, the main angle. It's easy to that digest be. because now I feel like, well, I don't really know what's going on. Right. That's because nobody does. Well, well, the, then no one will care. I mean, I right. need to know what's going on with like, what's your main event. And so like the great raw we saw last week, there were multiple storylines going on, but the main story is about triple H and Ric Flair. And there are definitely, and I think. Uh, sometimes we've heard from Bruce and, and some other, maybe even Eric, he's broken down. You got to have an A story and a B story and sometimes even a C story, but the A story is what's going to sell your tickets. You know, B and C exist, but just to sort of break up a and give value to the other segments, but nobody necessarily goes to Outback Steakhouse for the mashed potatoes. Except Cassio, Cassio kid. Yeah. yeah. They, they go for the steak. Uh, and, and while they're there, they'll pick up some blooming onions. And mm. if, if you're going to have a steak, you've got to pick a side. Okay. I'll take the mashed potatoes. 
they tried to sell me. Here's the salad. Here's the soup. Here's the bread. Here's the man. Sell me the fucking steak. And I think that's what was missing a little bit in this era of WCW because they're trying to get over so much that actually nothing gets over. Hmm. So WCW needed Ritalin. Um, they they had a focus for sure. Oh my God. Did he just hit him in the face with nunchucks? Nunchuck in the face. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.